Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we made it to the land of the Phantom Beasts. And I did a little bit of level grinding between episodes, fighting enemies like the Satan Knights and the Satan Juniors from last time. Got the party up to the lower 40s for the most part. It probably would be better to be a little higher, but I didn't want to level up too much between episodes. I felt like it wouldn't be right to build up to like I'm in the mid 40s or something like that. You know, because then it's like, why didn't I just space that out a little bit more over the course of the game? But anyway, uh, Rydia learned Ice 3 at level 39, but Bolt 3 is the spell I was really hoping for, but that doesn't happen until 45, actually. I got that mixed up earlier. I was really hopeful on that, to be blunt. I bought some equipment between episodes as well. I got the Aegis Shield for Kane there. I forget if it has any special features or not. You'd think it would but it might just be really strong physical defense. And I equipped him with the Defender Sword because his Ice Spear is uh, pretty weak compared to a lot of the weapons everyone else is using right now. And uh, despite uh, the Dragoons that being a Dragoon and specializing in Spears, Kane can equip some swords. And, it, and it, they work with the Jump Command as well. You know, they didn't make that so that only Spears work in the Jump com Command until Final Fantasy V. Anyway, Rydia, I got her a light robe, which boosts wisdom and will by like an additional five points, I think, something like that. And I bought a second fairy rod here in town as well. We'll need that a little bit later on. A couple dungeons from now, something like that. I believe Cecil's equipment's the same. Yeah, he's got the Avenger sword, auto berserk there. Rosa, I gave her the rune staff back because it'd be better to have stronger white magic at this point. She's got another light robe equipped. And Edge, he's got the same equipment as before with the full moon boomerang and the forge sword. But alright, we're here in a few books. The library of the Phantom World where all the books give you uh, information on like some of the background of the world and a lot of the different summon monsters. And this is also our way to the throne room of the Phantom World where the king and queen await. Exactly, this is the room of the Phantom Beast King and Queen. We have to challenge Lady Ashura, or Queen Ashura, and the Phantom Beast King to get them as summons. But we have to defeat Ashura first, because otherwise... The Phantom Beast King? No, no, I'm just some old fool. It's like, never you mind, I'm just here taking up space. Okay, we were all uh, set here. Queen Ashura! It's been quite a while, Rydia. We need your power, and I shall help you, or so I would like. However, I'm bound by the law of the Phantom Beast world. You must first prove your worth in combat. If you want to get a summon in this game, you typically have to defeat them in battle first. That's just kind of how it, get, how it is. Because otherwise, it wouldn't be much of a game if you just talk to them like, Okay, I'll join. Do you have the courage and power to challenge me? Well, I have the courage. Hopefully, I have the power. <laughs> well, but let's put that to the test. And then we have the boss battle against Ashura. Okay, I'm going to start this off by uh, having everybody defend. At least everybody I can control until we can get to Rose's turn. Because I need to get her to uh, cast Reflect up on uh, Ashura. Because that is our, our key to victory. I guess I'll have Rydia prepare Titan, though. Alrighty. We have the Reflect spell, because you see how frequently Ashura is casting healing magic on herself. Ow. Cast Reflect on Ashura, and all her recovery magic and buffs and everything will bounce off her and do some healing to us instead. We still want uh, Rosa to be on healing detail though, because Ashura hits really hard and she counterattacks everything with a physical attack. You know, she'll, she'll level you if you try to fight her on, if you're not prepared for the battle. Actually, I should probably use a Bacchus Wine on Edge. That's what I should should be doing. But, yeah, she randomly casts life as well. But I need uh, Rosa to do a crap. Cure 4. Okay, I'm going to uh, use a Bacchus Wine with Edge. 
He needs to boost his attack power. Okay, and Rosa, cure four. Crap, no, okay. I was worried. It's like if she hit Cecil again, he'd be down. Alright, and now Edge has increased attack power and will attack on his own, so he'll be much faster. Faster than my fingers can input commands into this keyboard. So now it's just a, a test of endurance to see if we can outlast Ashura. I'll probably eventually have to recast Reflect. Yes, yeah, Edge is doing a little bit more damage. So come on, Rydia, cast faster. Yeah, I could have used that Protect. Alrighty. Can wait just a little bit for... Uh, to see if anybody needs it. I'll do Cure 3 this time. I don't want to wait too long because... The Reflect spell will wear off on Ashura before long, and uh, nuts. Alright, Radia, take her out! Titan's Anger of the Land! Ow! Crap. Okay, well, um, come on, life. I was hoping for life one on Cecil. I have to wait for uh, Rosa's next turn to do that. I wonder if, I think the which face she has when she does the counterattack affects how much damage she does and like how strong her uh, healing is and everything. Nuts! I should have had Rydia use a Phoenix down. Well, Reflect on uh, Ashura is more important, unfortunately, than reviving Cecil, but I do want him to survive so he can get some experience too. Okay, great. Edge needed that. But yeah, when it Kane or Rosa gets a turn, she needs to they need to bring Cecil back to his feet. Or not. Oh, well, we defeated Ashura! Unfortunately, Cecil didn't get any of the experience. Rosa gained a level. And that's about it. Rydia, you have strong, kind friends. You may call me anytime. Call me maybe? No, 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 no. I'm not really a fan of that song, but... Rydia learned Ashura! Ashura is kind of a wild card. She randomly casts, I think, like, one of three or four different white magic spells on the entire party, like... Cure 4, or... Or Protect, or the Life 1 spell. Yeah, I think it's just one of those three. Yep, and Rydia has strong friends. I'm going to, uh... Go and uh, recover real quick before talking to the old man that's just an old fool, because maybe he's not quite such an old fool after all. Alright, I will be right back. Alrighty, I'm back and I am ready to go against the Phantom Beast King. I uh, changed up my equipment slightly. Edge is equipped with the Thunderclaw now, and I will be using the Bacchus Wine on him at the start of the battle. Because, uh... Our uh, opponent is weak against uh, Thunder Magic, that's why I wanted Bolt 3. If I had Bolt 3, Rydia could cause like 9,999 damage per turn and the battle would go a lot easier. This is going to be a little bit of a difficult fight, unfortunately. But... So let's go. Rydia. Even though you are the first people to have defeated Ashura, you need more than strength to oppose evil. You must possess a mighty will to guide you towards the path of light. My spirit has tested the passage of time. What do you say? Will you fight with me? Ah, a scary old man changed his voice all of a sudden. I don't know, I thought that was a nice touch. But yes, we will fight him. And that sounds like water. And it's Leviathan. Holy crap, he changes his pose from a defensive to an offensive stance and uh... Ouch. Crap. Okay, cane jump. Okay, I'm going to have uh, Edge use his Raijin attack for the first round. I'm going to cast Cure 4, I guess. Ow. Okay, Rosa. Prepare Bolt 2. Okay, when Rosa gets her next turn, I'm going to have her cast Berserk on Edge. I know I said use a Bacchus Wine before, but I'm going to try to uh, 
conserve uh, those for later. But now that I, after I healed that first, uh, ah, crap, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I hoped it would. But alright, Berserk on edge. Okay, you can just jump again. I'm gonna have Rydia try Ramu next and see if that does just a little bit more damage than Bolt 2. But yeah, Edge with the Thunderclaw equipped. And in Berserk status, should be a beast against Leviathan. It should do more damage than the, the uh, Thunder God. And here comes another Tsunami. Crap. Okay, that wasn't quite so bad, but it could be worse. Yeah, see, that does even more damage than the, the Raijin attack did. Alright, let's do Cure 3. Crap, I should have waited for Kane. Oh well. He must not have hit as many times with uh, his attack multipliers or something. Here comes the Judgment Bolt! Yeah, it's a little better, alright. Yeah, I'll just I'll summon Ramu for Rydia in this battle. We'll be okay. Alright, Leviathan's in his defensive stance. He's gonna be attacking with uh, Ice 2 spells at this point. But we'll be alright. In a lot of ways, Ashura is actually a lot harder than Leviathan. I'm not too worried about this battle. But it would be a lot easier if I had Bolt 3, because I could just waste him. Alright, Cure 3 with Rosa. Leviathan's are probably about to change his position to do another Tsunami. Yeah, here it comes. Uh, hurry up. Ah, uh, uh, nuts. Ow. Come on, guys. You can do it. Here's the Judgment Bolt. Old Man Ramu, come on. You can do it. Right, he's regressing to his defensive pose again. And we have won! Leviathan has been defeated. We gained 5,600 experience points for that battle. And we've learned the mighty Leviathan spell. Summon. You possess a strong guiding light. I shall lend you my power as the master of the oceans, Leviathan. Rydia learned Leviathan! Hooray! That's actually a pretty good summon. We'll probably be using that in the near future, actually. But yeah, he just repeats himself again. Yeah, call me, maybe? <laughs> but alrighty, guys. I think that's enough for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the next episode, we are finally going to go to the sealed cave. Where the game wanted us to go like four episodes ago. Alrighty, I will see you guys then.